In search of a financial opportunity to pay off student loans, a young black American woman moves to South Korea to work. As the author, Bootsy W. recalls culture shock and fun adventures in a country far from home. She's also faced with anti-black racism and featureism, quickly learning that white supremacy is practiced not only by whites, but by those that are categorized as people of color. Based on her 10 years of living abroad, the book, Ego Igo, compares and contrasts Korea versus the United States on subjects such as code, communal living, racism, effective protests, global alliances, warrior class, music, political correctness, health, aging, money, and the coronavirus. This blunt memoir is uncomfortable, humorous, and educational. Help fight propaganda and mainstream agendas by picking up a copy of Ego Igo on Amazon.com. Hey fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story comes from Italy. After years of protest, Italian TV station finally bans the use of blackface. Let me show you a video of what they've been doing so far. We'll come back and discuss. Essere nero all'estero per te son libico E come copertura vendo kebab tiepido Nel sotto scala due per tre io c'è sto scomodo As you saw, they painted their face to look like Beyonce, Arita Franklin, Whitney Houston and so on. So apparently in Italy it's okay and it's not just in Italy by the way. A lot of European countries, they're okay with that. Their TV stations don't tell them don't do this when artists or celebrities wear blackface so if there's no consequence why should they stop so that's why they keep doing it this particular tv station it had a contest and that's that's where usually you know it's it's a show where you have to imitate someone and rap like them or sing like them and act like them so they take it literally so if this lady is singing beyonce's song she will wear um, her little black dress like beyonce put on a black face, put on a brown blonde wig, and that's it, she'll perform. So it was not a problem until now. But now, after a long protest, they have finally said, okay, we will ban it, it's no longer going to continue. And you know, Afro-Italian people have been asking for this for the longest time, and now finally they're being heard. And unfortunately, it's th this is not the only TV station, as I told you, in Europe. It's like it's any other day no one cares it's fine to do that you know even if black people have said that again and again and again and again it's not all right and we don't appreciate this the latest one that we know of is that white lady that put on even uh what is it Pro prosthetics i think that's what it's called uh and she painted that skin black and she went out there and sang jerusalem that received a lot of backlash ray reported on this a while back so this has been happening all over Europe, nobody cares, but at least this TV station said, okay, we'll ban it. Hopefully this will be the first for many more to come. Anyways, guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are. Why is this still happening in Europe? And America seems to be moving past it, but Europeans are apparently, they don't see anything wrong with it. Let us know down below what your thoughts are. I'm Wengil Zalad, I'm bringing you the story. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app. Now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store.